Hi there, my name is Dan McPherson and I'm a Senior Technical Writer for Red Hat's Customer Content Services. This video is part of a series on Red Hat Satellite 6 and focuses on synchronizing content. In the context of Satellite 6, the content means RPM packages. You provide Satellite 6 with subscription information and then download repositories containing Red Hat content. This provides a means for hosting Red Hat content within your local network. In addition, you can set up a plan to synchronize content at certain periods to keep things up to date. Let's start by getting our subscription data. To do this, we need to obtain what is called a subscription manifest, which is an archive file containing subscription information for Satellite 6. We download this file from the customer portal. As you can see, I'm logged into the customer portal, so let's navigate to the subscriptions page. Scroll down to subscription management applications and click satellite. This displays a list of your satellites added as distributors on the customer portal. Let's register a new satellite by clicking register a satellite. Provide your satellite with a plain text name. I'm going to use the host name of the satellite server. Also select the satellite version. In my case, I'll choose satellite 6.0. Now our Satellite 6 is logged as a distributor. The next step is to attach subscriptions to our Satellite 6. Click Attach a Subscription. For this example, add 10 of your Red Hat Enterprise Linux subscriptions. For my purposes, I'm adding 10 of my employee subscriptions, which includes Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Wait for the application screen to refresh and you should see the subscriptions attached in the table below. Now that we have our subscriptions attached, we can download our subscription manifest. Save this file to your local system. Now that we have our subscription manifest, we can upload it to our satellite. I've logged into my satellite already, and I'm ready to upload the manifest. First, I start by selecting the organization I want to use. I've created my own organization for this example. Next, I navigate to Content Red Hat Subscriptions. This displays the subscription information for my example organization. At the moment, it's empty, so let's upload that manifest. Click Browse. Select the manifest. Then click Upload. This takes a short period to upload, so let's check back later. Satellite has successfully imported the manifest. Now let's synchronize some content. Navigate to Content. Red Hat Repositories. This displays a list of all repositories from your subscription manifest. You choose which repositories to enable from the screen. I'm going to choose some of the main Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 repositories, including the All Packages repository, the kickstart tree, the common software repository, and the satellite tool software channel. Now let's sync the repositories. Navigate to Content, Products. This displays our enabled products that Satellite manages. 
click Red Hat Enterprise Linux Server, which displays the repositories we enabled. Select all the repositories, then click Sync Now. This initiates the synchronization process. Navigate to Content, Sync Status, and you can monitor the progress of the synchronization. The synchronization process takes a while to complete, so let's check back later. Our synchronization is now complete. This means our Satellite 6 server has its own repositories that align with the content in Red Hat's content delivery network. A couple of things to note. If you navigate to Hosts, Installation Media, you'll see that Satellite has added the Kickstart tree to our Installation Media collection. We will use this for provisioning new hosts. Also note that you can create a synchronization plan under Content Sync Plans. This enables Satellite to continually synchronize with the Red Hat Content Delivery Network at intervals you define. That concludes this video in the Red Hat Satellite 6 series. Thanks for watching.